Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Eva and I am a millennial who is absolutely obsessed with makeup. Today's video I'm very excited about, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Instead of just talking about new releases, which is what I often focus on on this channel, I'm going to talk about my beauty game changers. Now, these are products that for me have really upped my beauty game, whether that be nail care, hair care, body care, skin care, makeup. These are products that I feel like have just really enhanced my beauty routine, have made life easier, have made life better, and I am excited to share them with you. Before I get into sharing those products though, if you are not already subscribed, would love for you to subscribe, and then also follow me on Instagram. It does really help me out. The first beauty game changer category I'm going to touch on is skincare. Now we do actually have a sponsor for a portion of today's video. Allies of Skin is sponsoring the portion of today's video. This actually worked out perfectly because I started using some of their products around eight weeks ago. Um, they did gift them to me. I didn't know I was going to eventually land a sponsorship with them. And I had a note in my phone that when I did my next favorites video, I was going to include some of those products because I was truly, truly blown away by them. So then when they reached out for a sponsorship, I jumped at the opportunity because I have been loving their products. Now, a little bit more about Allies of Skin. They are an ingredient, forward ingredient first company. For me, like I love cute packaging as much as the next person. I love a cute brand campaign, et cetera. But when it comes to my skincare, I'm focused on are these good effective ingredients? Are there good clinical trials? And then also I'm focused on, are they fragrance free? Whether that be synthetic, natural, or essential oils, because my skin is super sensitive. I cannot use skincare that has any of those ingredients in it, except if it's a face wash. Sometimes I can get away with that. Um, so Allies of Skin just aligns really well with me and what I look for in a skincare brand. The products that really blew me away that I already need to repurchase and restock on. First, let's talk about this. This is the Molecular Savior Probiotic Treatment Mist. So this is a facial mist toner that has 5% niacinamide. It also has silver and glut glutathione, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, probiotics, and then an anti-evaporation complex. Now, for me, a lot of niacinamide products my skin freaks out about, but whatever is in this and the formulation works for my skin. I love that when I am applying the skin, it doesn't like sting necessarily, but I definitely feel it like penetrating my skin almost. Like I know, I know it's working. And I have gone through this bottle in six weeks because I've been spraying it like crazy because I love it. So I like to apply it right after I wash my face. I'll sometimes like rub it in a little bit to help it absorb in the skin. Make sure I pat it down onto my neck before moving into the next step in my skincare routine. Another product from Allies of Skin that I have fallen in love with is their Multi-Peptides and GF Advanced Lifting Serum. And this product I use as step number three. So after I've applied the spray, I go in with this. I go in with around three pumps and I make sure I get it all over my face, spread it down my neck as well. And something I really like about this is it absorbs very, very quickly. Like it is a serum that I don't know what's going on, but it feels like my skin just like sucks it in right away. And as far as effective ingredients, so this has a 9% lifting peptide complex, so has copper lysinate as well. So really powerful ingredients that are really important for lifting and firming the skin. And this is a product where not only have I started to see results, but it also does not irritate my skin. Like again, for me, that is so key. There are so many skincare products that I try out like behind the scenes and never talk about on my channel because after one or two uses, my skin is freaking out and I'm getting little bumps. So my skin really, really loves this one. The final Allies of Skin product that I have been absolutely loving, I made my mom try it when she came and visited me last weekend, is the 
Allies of Skin, the one SPF. Now this is their 50 SPF Invisible Sunscreen Gel. It has vitamin C and green tea, carrot seed, licorice root, and five antioxidants and skin conditioners. The reason why I'm so in love with this SPF is because it is the perfect SPF plus makeup primer. When you apply this, it will leave a hydrating gel that kind of just like gently sits on the top of your skin. And for me, it really provides a nice blurring effect and blank canvas for me to apply my makeup over. It also wears beautifully under makeup all day. A lot of SPFs on me, I have issues with the product pilling after I apply my complexion products. This one does not do that. And I love that it is a 50 SPF because that is the SPF I try to wear when I am actually going out in the sun, in the summer. Otherwise, I'm more of like a 30, 40 SPF girl when I'm indoors, but this one is wonderful for the summer months and also just a wonderful year round makeup primer. All of the products that I mentioned and all the products on their website are going to be 25% off for the Allies of Skin Labor Day sale. And they also gave me a code that will give you an additional 10% off. I will have it up on the screen and I will have it down below in the description. So highly recommend checking them out. Another skincare product that has really been a game changer for me is actually this dermaplaning tool. So this is the Stacked Skincare Dermaplaning Tool. I have tried many dermaplaning tools. I've tried the Sephora Collection one. I've tried, you know, ones you can just get at CVS, et cetera. The stacked skincare one is absolutely unmatched. And for me, it is because of the blade. Okay, I feel kind of weird like showing a blade up close. So the stacked skincare derma planing blade has these like little ridges that you can kind of pick up on on camera. And what that does is it really exfoliates your skin and it makes it so you like barely have to press down for it to remove the hair and dead skin. Now, I'm not demoing this because I already dermaplaned last week before I knew I was filming this video and you don't want to over dermaplane. You might be asking though, like, what is dermaplaning? So dermaplaning is essentially shaving your face by using a special razor that removes your peach fuzz and then the top layer of your dead skin. Now you can go to an actual place and have it done professionally. I've had it done professionally before and like while it's nice, the results are exactly the same when I do it at home. Um, I also wanna mention that you can purchase the refill blades. I use one blade per use. Like that is what they do at professional um, dermatologist office. So I don't want to like risk getting any sort of infection. I want to make sure when I am dermaplaning, I'm using a fresh blade. So these do come in sets of, I believe it's three refills for $25. Um, you can get yours at several places. I will go ahead and just have the Amazon links down below because I believe you might be able to set up a subscribe and save for these. But if you are not dermaplaning your face, you are not living in 2024. Like it is just so magical, not only to just see all of the peach fuzz coming off, but also to get that like top layer of dead skin off and then apply your skincare afterwards because you will just feel your skincare working better. Like it might tingle a little bit. You will actually feel your skincare absorbing more into your skin. So this really has been a game changer. And this is like, I can't live without dermaplaning. I can't. I can't, and I can't live without the stacked skincare ones. I went to the Sephora collection ones for a while because they're so affordable. They're good, but there's just something special about the stacked skincare blade that prevents me from nicking myself and also just exfoliates the skin better. Something to do with those little grooves in it. I have one body care product I wanna talk about as being a game changer. It's not necessarily this specific product, but it is this specific concept. Now, I did not invent this concept by any means, but what I have been doing for the past year that really has been a game changer for me is applying a fragrance-free body lotion right before I apply my perfume. 
what that does is it provides almost like a base or a primer for your perfume to soak into. When I do this, I find that my perfumes and fragrances last longer throughout the day. Now, one of my favorite fragrance-free body lotions, I'm um, like three, I feel like I have like one fourth left, is from the brand Prequel. And this is their Barrier Therapy Skin Protectant Cream. This is fragrance-free and also can be worn on the face as well as the body. It's just a really, really beautiful, nice cream. For the heck of it, I'll go ahead and just apply some to my hands right now. You get a ton of product for a very reasonable price. I believe that bottle is under $20. Um, I think Prequel is coming to Target if they are not already. So definitely check them out. It is a dermatologist brand. Prequel makes a bunch of great products. But yeah, this body cream has been a game changer for me. And just in general, this technique of applying a fragrance-free body cream before applying a perfume has been a fragrance game changer. I have two hair game changers I wanna talk about. The first is my beloved, my beloved Dyson Airwrap. I have the old version of the Dyson Airwrap. The new version seems way more convenient because you can twist which direction the airflow goes instead of having to swap out the head pieces, but it's not enough of an inconvenience for me to want to spend another, you know, $600 on a replacement. But the Dyson Airwrap has truly been a game changer for me, especially as someone with bangs. Now, I am growing out my bangs currently, but you will see in this video I'm going to insert, I'm going to show you how easy it is to style bangs and just kind of like style the front of your hair using the Dyson Airwrap. I didn't apply hairspray afterwards to really like let it set because I basically was just styling my hair like that for the purposes of this video and that footage so it kind of has fallen out but that's because I didn't use a product not the fault of the Dyson Airwrap. So if you are willing to take you know 15 minutes to actually like watch some tutorials online to know how the Dyson Airwrap should work it is absolutely worth it, especially with all the different attachments that they have. For me, the ones that I use the most are the little short, smaller curl ones, because those are perfect for giving my hair a little bit of volume and a little bit of body. If I lost all of my makeup and hair care and skin care and everything, which I don't even want to fathom, one of the first things I would replace would be my Dyson Airwrap. So, if that's not a positive endorsement, I don't know what is. As far as price point, they are ridiculously expensive. So I would definitely save Ulta points, wait for the 20% off sale at Sephora and Ulta and get it on discount because it is possible to get it on a discount. You just have to act fast as soon as the sale starts. The last hair care product who is so amazing. I did speak about it in my last favorites video. It is the K18 Air Wash dry shampoo. This is the best dry shampoo I have ever used. I thought the Living Proof, um, I think it's like the Living Proof Extreme dry shampoo was amazing. I used it the other day and I was like, this is nothing. This is nothing compared to this. So this product is super interesting. It is a wet formula. It is not like a, like it actually has a water type product inside. I mean, I don't want to spill it out, but it is a full on liquid. When you apply it, you, before you apply it, actually, you shake it up, you just spray it and you let it air dry. Um, I will insert a clip. I did spray it earlier and I think you should be able to see, it's a little hard because I have to get my hair done soon because my roots are really dark, um, but I'm hoping it will show you just how much oil it absorbed from my scalp. I can go like five days without washing my hair when I use this product. And as someone who pays a lot of money to have my hair highlighted, I want to wash my hair as little as possible to make the color last longer and to make the hair brighter. So this is one that I cannot recommend enough. I have started to see on social media people taking micellar water and adding it to a spray bottle. So. When I'm done with this, maybe I'll try that because this is $48, but I've also had this bottle for a while and I use it every single day and there's still 
I think around this much left. So a little goes a long way with this product and I like cannot live without this dry shampoo now. I don't have too many makeup products included in this video because while I have so many favorites, I feel like it takes a lot for a makeup product to actually be a game changer. But I did include two makeup products, the first being the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but this is by far, hands down, my favorite complexion product ever. So this is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I am the shade two and it is the perfect match for me. It is a super liquidy product, has a very thin consistency, but it has pigment. I feel like a lot of skin tints nowadays, like the Hourglass one, I put it on and I'm like, what is the point of that? It doesn't actually have pigment. For me, this is the perfect amount of pigment. It also is so flattering. I struggle with a lot of complexion products because my skin is so dry. This one does not emphasize dry patches. It is just the perfect color for me. And this is my second bottle of it. And this is something where I will repurchase until the end of time because it is that good. It is that good. And for me, it is a game changer because I went from really hating applying foundation to having to be a pleasant experience because of the way this complexion product performs. I have two brushes that really changed the game for me. And these are two brushes from the Makeup by Ariel Morphe collab. These are available at Ulta. They are also going to be on deal for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. But these are the A114 brush and the A11 brush. I am not great at doing eye looks, but I find that these brushes, these two shapes and the level of density make diffusing shadows in my crease and all over my lid, like it makes it look seamless and beautiful. So this brush I like to take not only in my crease, but kind of just like all over my lid. And then the A11 is just the perfect one for diffusing color and blending in the crease. And I, these have really upped my makeup game when it comes to eyeshadow application. These are brushes that I've been blown away with. And I don't know, I like feel the urge to like buy backups in case anything, God forbid, ever happened to them. The last makeup product I'm gonna talk about is an eyeshadow palette. And it is the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. I purchased this palette the day it released on the Makeup by Mario website in, geez, when was that? Maybe like 2020. And I have not looked back since. There is something just truly magical with this formula. The colors blend absolutely beautifully. Again, I'm not a makeup pro. I'm not an eyeshadow pro. It is so easy to get just like a really pretty basic look with these shadows. When you swatch them, you might be like, okay, these aren't anything special. It's not about how they swatch, it's how they blend and wear on the eyes. Um, inserting a clip of me using a few different shades to create this very basic everyday eye look, but this really has been a game changer for me. It is such a beautiful palette. It makes it so easy to do very natural everyday looking eye looks. Now we have to talk nails. I am so passionate about the next product that I'm going to talk about. I am the first to shout from the rooftops about how good these products are. Okay, so they are the Olive and June Fake Press-On Nails. Okay, I have not gotten my nails professionally painted, or rather, I have only gotten my nails professionally painted twice in the past three years. That is a true statement. That is a true statement because, I mean, look how good these press on look. This is, this was $10, you guys. This was $10. Let me tell you more about the Olive and June press on. So Olive and June came out with their press on glue manis, and then they released their super sticky manis which come with these little stickers inside the package. The nail stickers that come with the Olive and June Super Sticky are the best nail stickers on planet Earth. I have tried 
so many brands, so many brands of nail stickers. Nothing compares to the Olive and June ones. They last two to three weeks if you apply them correctly. They now sell the stickers individually. I will have those linked down below. So something that's really great is if a design of the glue Manny speaks to you, you can always purchase these and then just purchase the stickers on the side and apply them. Sometimes the more fun nails are the ones that come in the Olive and June um, glue version. So what I do is I just buy those and then when I apply them, I use the stickers. There are a lot of press on nail brands out there and you can always feel free, you know, to purchase those brands and use the Olive and June stickers. But for me, I find the sizing isn't great on the other brands. Olive and June has a lot of sizes within the packaging. It's not just what you see here. There's like a little Ziploc that also comes with it. So it's pretty easy to find your size. And what I love to do actually is you can just apply the nails and be good to go. But I like to kind of have fun with it and add a top layer of like a shimmery polish and then a nail decal. They are just really, really fun. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Let me know in the comments below, like what are your beauty game changers? Have you tried any of the products I talked about? What are some products you think I need to try that may make it into my next beauty game changers video? If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, give this video a thumbs up, do all of the things. Thanks so much and I hope to see you in my next video.